A partial U.S. government shutdown in double digits now in its 10th day, but there are signs some action could be coming from Democrats later this week. Will it be enough to end the shutdown? That's still unclear. Washington, D.C., December 31, 2018. The U.S. Congress back to work today. But both chambers only convening for a few minutes with no progress made to end the partial federal government shutdown before adjourning until noon on Wednesday, January 2nd, 2019. Funding has been frozen for about 20 percent of the government since December 22nd, leaving hundreds of thousands of federal workers without paychecks over the holidays. A major sticking point, Donald Trump's demand for $5 billion for a U.S.-Mexico border wall. I can tell you it's not going to be open until we have a wall, a fence, whatever they'd like to call it. A campaign promise largely opposed by Democrats and by some Republicans, too. The U.S. president tweeting in part today, I'm in the Oval Office. Democrats come back from vacation now and give us the votes necessary for border security, including the wall. Democrats are set to take action on Thursday when the party takes control of the House. Proposals are expected to go to a vote to reopen the government with funding to be extended for most departments until September. A plan, though, that does not include five billion bucks for a wall. Chances are slim it will get support from Senate Republicans. Back to Trump, who seemingly pushed back to comments made by his outgoing chief of staff. John Kelly, quoted by the L.A. Times over the weekend, saying that plans for a solid concrete border wall were abandoned months ago. Adding, to be honest, it's not a wall. Trump tweeting today, an all-concrete wall was never abandoned, as has been reported by the media. Some areas will be all-concrete, but the experts at Border Patrol prefer a wall that is see-through, thereby making it possible to see what's happening on both sides. Makes sense to me. You sent me into the fight, and tonight... You told me to stay in the fight. And an end-of-the-year announcement from U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren, who today became the most prominent Democrat yet to announce a challenge to the Republican president in 2020. Warren said she has formed an exploratory committee, which will allow her to begin raising campaign money. And that's what we're fighting for. Yep. It's about basic fairness for everyone. An official decision on whether or not she will officially run is expected early in the new year.